Hey guys, it's Mathel here, and welcome to the Low Life Blade Vortex slash Beyblade Aziri and Uber Aziri Kills. So, this is a Blade Vortex self cast build with a Shavs of thus Low Life and basically Skyforth boots as well. What happened was I chanced some Skyforth boots uh, a week or two ago, and I decided that I could uh, make a pretty good Low Life Blade Vortex build with the boots. So I managed to give it a shot, and uh, it's worked out really well. As you can see, I am just completely dumpstering uh, normal at Ziri run in general. Uh, the DPS is completely insane. Right now, this is on a 5 link, and uh, level 20 gems for the most part. Still got a bit of uh, DPS to squeeze out, which will come later. As it stands though, Skyforths aren't even that ne necessary for this build, it's more or less a luxury. Uh, this build doesn't seem to be the greatest use of Skyforths, is what I'm trying to say. Because uh, the power charge on crit, you can get that with an alternate um, Blade Vortex setup. And the stun, you can quite easily make do with Lion Eyes Paws just by whirling blading rather than running anywhere. So, while it is good, they're convenient. It's just more of a convenience than a necessity. Shavs, however, that feels very good. So I'm using a spell crit dagger, and that allows me to whirling blades. I don't currently have fortify attached to whirling blades because I just don't have the room for it. But that doesn't seem to matter too much anyway. Part of my five link setup at the moment is blade vortex, spell echo, controlled destruction, a life leech, and conch effect. That is for boss kills. Now you might think Control Destruction doesn't really belong here, but all it does is reduce my crit from about 56 to 50, while increasing my damage by something like 40%. And that is very important because it gives me a lot more fizz, which then can turn into a lot more cold for shattering and actually freezing monsters. Aziri runs right now are pretty goddamn face roll. I've done something like 10 of them, and I decided to give Uber Aziri a shot after I managed to six link my shavs. So sit back and enjoy. Thanks for watching. So I don't expect this to go too well. It might though, it might. Well, we'll give it a shot and see how we go. Eh? If it goes shit, I'll know where to stand or where it stands. At the very least, what to change, what what it's going to need to become better. How many stacks can I get it up to? A decent amount, and trash actually dies like that too. Very sketchy, but uh. Kinda not that bad, eh? One thing I didn't do though was uh. Get fortify my welling blades, I think that would have been very beneficial. I kind of forgot to even think about doing that. Trash DPS is actually really good. And I'm not dying that badly at all. It's really good. Have I got anything left to kill? A few more. Oh, another entire room. God damn. Fuck, man. I was... Doing my best to try and save 
flasks for the boss fight because it was just after that room. I needed to press some flasks by the looks of it. That's a crummy waste of uh, a portal. Yeah. Not happy with that considering how well it was going. I will skip this last piece of trash. I can't just get Fortify right now. I need to actually change my setup for Fortify. Uh, okay. I did forget to actually change flasks. Maybe I can stack it up well enough during um, during the fight. Thanks for the host, uh, Ziz. Appreciate it, man. Just started my first Uber attempt on this character. Uh, I'm not using Conk Effect. Well, that was a shit start. Pretty clean kill, nonetheless. So that could have gone better. Yeah, it still went really well. <sighs> Alright, well now I'm actually terrified of trash considering how much it just dumpstered me. Yeah, man. What boat are you doing for your Insurances? If I had Fortify and Willing Blades, I could make this a lot nicer, I think. <sighs> this thing for Deathless, and I'm probably the wrong guy to ask these days for a Deathless run. That shit is beyond me, I think. Um, what do I want for... So this is when I need a taste of hate. I need to grab a taste of hate and shove it in over something else for the trio. But I'm just going to have to go get dumpstered by trio a bit. God, fuck off Necro Vigil. You do not belong in the game. Too many hits at once. Yeah. I gotta take trash a bit more carefully, I think. <laughs> two deaths! Two trash so far. Not two actual bosses. That's always good. I think I'm gonna stop whirling basically.
Except for, you know, certain situations. Trash is pretty manageable, though. This will be a bit of a test, I reckon. Get our added fire back in there, and, uh... Prey? Maybe I should keep increased duration for this fight, just to maintain 50 stacks as much as I possibly can. Uh, now I'll get added fire. Please finish him! Fuck! I need RF to pull that off really quick, but that was good. I just needed to actually pull out a bit. I figured I could actually finish off that face tank. Too many titty bitches just ragging on me at the end though. It was good. That was good. For a first attempt, I'm very happy with that. Um, let's go back into increased duration mode, shall we? Uh, let's just start again, actually. Never pull out, yeah? You're, you're all about the... having kids? And paying childcare? Child support? Yeah, nah. Good for you, respected. So that was an easy finish. Almost easier than Voltaxic. Nah, Voltaxic's way, way better, I reckon. There's far less danger on Voltaxic, basically. Come back for most of that trash, I think, later. I'm still kinda scared. Woo! Yeah, getting that one hit in. Pretty rough. So it, Nate, already. Aw, oh, man. But, Shavs. Shavs loves you. Ah, <sighs> cancer talisman. <sighs> anyway, as far as Uber Run goes, um, both Trio and Vials were what I thought would be my easy portions of the run. And Siri herself is what's going to really challenge me. But yeah, we are nowhere near out of danger yet. finish this. It might be a good idea to try and gear up the Voltax it can get in there. My best bet for her, one last portal, because I have to try at least one portal. Well, 
I think this is about to get really ugly. sure I'm quick enough on the dodges because I can probably take a flame blast but I really don't want to. Totally locks you down for a long time though. Alright, so strategy for this is let her drop that first flame blast, go man mode, and pull it off. Okay, good, good. No! Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, 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 okay. We're still in this, we're still in this. Oh, we are still in this. It looks like I can tank the flame last thing. <laughs> It would hit for like 6k, as long as she doesn't then follow it up immediately with a, uh, spear. I can potentially be okay. Oh my god! No! Fucking did it! Oh, that was so good. Totally doable. And that was the first attempt where I play like shit, too. Three deaths to trash, one death to trio. There it is. Low life blade vortex, come at me. Yeah, I mean, you guys are right. Blade fall for trash would obviously be a lot better. But, I'm a Blade Vortex build. I actually forgot, there's still trash in there to clear. The Beyblade, dude, that's a pretty... I don't know, that's... I think with the right gear and build, you could make this a fairly foolproof Uber run. Because I played pretty bad this run. And still... Pulled out all kinds of deeps. <laughs> 